Assassin, the last time that Inco took on the Steelworkers, it was in 1978. Now, I was just a wee child at the time. I can't claim to remember it well, but I know of my labor history, and I know this, that after nine long months of that struggle, it was the workers who prevailed! Yeah. There is no company that takes workers on strike for this long unless they're trying to break the union, and we need to send a clear message from our entire movement it didn't work in 1978, and it's not going to work today! The world has turned on its heads, sisters and brothers! Let's be clear about the economic troubles we are in! Not one person standing on this hill today! Not one person in Sudbury! Not one person in Port Colburn! Not one worker is to blame! It is the bankers and the bond traders and the boys on Bay Street that are to blame, and by God, we're not going to pay for their mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. I am so proud of our union for standing together with steel workers. The public sector and the private sector must be united. Private sector jobs are key to our economy. They, they, they generate money into the economy that pay taxes, that pay for public sector workers. It means we must stay together and united, and I want to commit to you that in the province of Ontario, we will work with our members to not just fill five buses, we'll fill as many as we can. We will bring them to Sudbury. We will keep fighting with the steel workers. One day longer, one day stronger, we will win together.